Hello and welcome to the Games Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara and local space and world space in Unreal 4. Now, this is definitely one of those fundamental topics. So, I'm reusing a Niagara emitter and a Niagara system that I've created in a previous video. So, if we go and open up our Niagara emitter and we come to our emitter properties, you'll see local space. And by default, when you create an emitter, the local space is going to be unticked. Now, when it's unticked, that means that your system is in world space. So if we go and drag our Niagara system out into the world, you'll notice right away that our particles are moving. They're not staying with the emitter. So world space means that your particles are going to move around in the world. They're going to move away from your emitter as you move them. Now, if we come back to our emitter and we turn on local space, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to save my emitter. And I'm going to save my system. And now when we move this, our particles are going to stay local to our emitter. They're not going to move freely when we move the emitter or the system. Now, something else to note here is that with local space turned on, if we try and scale this, you can scale your system. It's actually going to scale with your particles local to your system. Now if we come back to our emitter and we turn off local space and we save our emitter and we save our system, you'll see that in the transform we're scaling but we can't actually scale the system. So whatever your reasons are, if you want to scale your particle system, it has to be in local space. Alright guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.